Welcome, Lauren. Thank you for the offer. <laughs> Can you tell us what Ivanic is doing? Yeah, so Ivanic has started recently over the last months its own circular plastics program. And basically what we've done is we've collected the various ideas and projects that have been ongoing in the company and put them together under a program and this allows us to take a look at the various different businesses that are involved in circularity and also the different sciences that are applied to get that cross exchange to make sure that we have the best and most efficient uh, solutions. It's a privilege for me to, to sponsor that project as it lies close to my heart. Why is Avonic getting into this? One of the main drivers is that we have a toolkit. We have several different options to help enable circularity. So whether it comes to existing recycling technologies that are available today, or whether it comes to some of these solutions that the mass producers of, of plastics are looking for to make sure their, uh, their processes come into a full circle, we have technologies to offer um, to enable uh, circularity. In addition to that, we have our own um, responsibility for the environment and the footprint that we have. And if we're able to take on more circular raw materials and use less virgin raw material, then we make a contribution. And lastly, I would say, and probably the most important, but this is, this is our sweet spot. So this is, this is the type of, of challenges that a specialty chemical uh, company is, is made for. What is the business potential behind a circular plastics program? So in the program that we've defined today, we have a cluster of different projects within it, and uh, we look at around the order of magnitude of, of 350 million in the pipeline right now by 2030. So it's not small, it's definitely a start. Is Avonic not actually a con Tribute to the problem because Ivonic also makes plastics? When we look at the ability of a lot of our, our products to be able to um, stay in service longer, to um, isolate or insulate um, housing longer, um, it's a pretty critical life cycle analysis to see whether it's part of the problem or solving the problem. Why is this important to you personally? When I was responsible a few years ago for one of our businesses, I saw an image at the time of a stack of mattresses in a landfill, and it was pretty impressive. And I thought, well, if, if everyone should have the right to a good quality of life, um, then we probably have more of these pictures going forward. So this is really a challenge, and how do we, how do we solve this? So from that point forward, um, not only did it leave an impression, but I made a commitment that at least um, the area of scope that I, I come in contact with, that we would look for solutions to this. That's great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ivonic, leading beyond chemistry.